Get ready, church. Get ready for glory. The glory of God. Get ready for shaking of all things. Get ready for Jesus' return. So as the glory increases, as the shaking increases, as they reach a peak in the time of the tribulation, then Jesus said, then really lift up your heads. And then I'm going to come back. Holy Spirit, hover over me. Deacon House of Prayer came out of the prayer movement in the city at the start of the, the, the millennium. And we moved into the city two years into quite a united prayer, uh, unity, repentance, and seeking the blessing of the city movement. So we joined into that, and uh, within three or four years, uh, we felt as though God was calling us to start a house of prayer, kind of out of that uh, blessing place of prayer. A, a few of us just gathered together, not knowing anything about what we were doing, just feeling that the Lord was saying, uh, seek my presence. Um, a prophet came into the city, a prophetic guy, and, and he, he calls out a meeting and said, God's calling you to raise up houses of prayer, houses of prayer, healing and renewal. And then that was it. That was, that was the, what we, we knew what it was called. Then we started to realize God is doing this all over the world. So we, we had no building, so we were meeting our homes for times of prayer, 24 hours of prayer occasionally. Eventually we found a building. And we started to connect with churches. Prayer walking increased. But then, uh, you know, to start with really in the building, it was just two or three of us sitting in, in the, the basement saying, well, here we are, Lord. We really add people to us. So that's been a gradual journey of um, people discovering what we're doing, people with a heart to worship, pray, connect, um, be discipled. Healing ministries have started to take uh, um, a real center place. Creative arts have started to flourish. Most of the houses of prayer are small, uh, and we would say we're, we're still small. But, but we've, we've grown from a place of 12 years ago, been praying mainly for this city, having a city focus, to be, becoming, the Lord moved us into a, more of a, a national prayer uh, focus and identity. And then in the last five years, he's begun to say, now stand over the nations, and start to pray globally as well. So we pray locally, nationally, and globally really for awakening, revival, the glory of God ahead of the Lord's return. So that's what we do. Um, it varies week by week, the rhythm. It varies season by season, what churches connect with us. But we kind of, we, heart, we feel like we're on a journey that is, we're constantly saying, Lord, let your cloud of your presence be, you know, that step in front of us. Because we don't know where we're going otherwise. Oh, the shine.